Well, I, I think in a major way, it's um, the, the, the lab-grown meat is going to transform our lives in that in the future, I guess we only can get lab-grown meat in the supermarket. So it will, in my view, eventually replace um, traditionally grown meat through livestock. My children are sort of laughing about this, uh, and they see all the publicity around it, and they uh, they they um, talk at school with their uh, with their uh, peers about uh, that their father is making a hamburger, and um, so they it's a joke to them. Uh, basically, they don't real realize yet that this may be a reality in their lives, and that. Uh, you know, it will be sort of a rarity to find a cow or a pig in a in the meadow, uh, let alone in a um, huge uh, stable under abysmal conditions. Yeah, the timing, of course, is a um, is an often asked question. You know, when are we going to get this in the supermarket? Um, I'm planning, with the help of a philanthropic financer, in the next year to make the first hamburger. So in a year we will have a proof of principle and at least you know one hamburger. Um, in order to make eventually a commercially viable um, meat production, we need to invest quite a bit. And depending on that investment, um, we will move fast or we will move uh, slower. With the current investment, it's going to be very slow. Um, if everybody uh, gets his shoulder behind us, then we can have this within 10, 15 years. I'm very confident that we will eventually make this happen and I'm also sure that this is one of the alternatives that we have to look for.